More help is on the way to get people off the streets and into housing, but is it enough? This comes as many businesses say they're fed up with homeless camps driving away customers. KXN's Nabil Ramadna shows us how this new group is hoping to help. Hiding his identity, worried about possible repercussions. There's a lot of camps behind the shop. An Austin business owner talks about the negative impact a nearby homeless camp is having on his business. Every time customers leave the shop, they approach to the customer. In front of my office, there is always needles. It is a crisis. There are new efforts being made to get people off the streets, though. We help them with uh, housing. Endeavors just launched its intensive rapid rehousing program in Austin. It says in the past, 90% of their clients who received housing services overcame homelessness. We get rental assistance, we help them with their utilities, and then they stay with a case manager for about 18 months that will kind of assess if they're in need of food, if clothing, any kind of life skills training. Jasmine Bartlett with Endeavors says there are challenges though, like lack of affordable housing, but they work hard to get their clients a place to live. Some of their barriers why they can't get housed, so that could be um, negative rental history, they have bad credit, or they have a criminal background. And when they can't make something work, they ask for help. Because whatever we can't provide, we can easily reach out to other nonprofits. While efforts continue to get people off the streets and into housing, some still aren't convinced it's working. They can't do drugs, they can't drink, so those places, they're not going to accept that. So that's not going to fix the problem. Nabil Ramadna, KXAN News. Estimates from ECHO show about 4,500 people living on the streets, but this weekend's point in time count, the first in years, should give us a better idea of the real number.